one. So today let's just take a look at the weather app changes on the Apple platform over the years. So first let's just take a look at the iOS 1 uh, in that time. So we call it iPhone OS. So you can see that the weather app is a built-in application in the first distribution. And when you click this app, this is the user interface looks like. Just list your city, uh, the weather for the next few days. So the next year, Apple released iOS 2. We call it iPhone OS 2 at that time. So you can see this is um, the weather application looks like. So there's no big difference uh, compared to the first release. And then uh, go to the 2009 Apple release, the iOS 3. So you can see that this is the weather app still there. So the icon doesn't change. Um, when you open the application and the user interface just to keep the same. And in 2010, and Apple just released iOS 4. So it just changed the name from iPhone OS to iOS. But you can see the icon is still the same and the user interface looks pretty similar. And next year, Apple released iOS 5. So in this uh, distribution, so Apple enable the local aware for the weather application. So when you open the weather uh, app, so you can check the local weather automatically instead of uh, the previous version, you need to add your cities, uh, you know, by input. So this is uh, a big feature change. And then for the iOS 6, um, so Apple also, you know, did a very uh, minor graphical change, but for the functionalities, there's no big uh, update. And in 2013, so Apple released the iOS 7. So this is a big update. So the entire operating system user interface changed significantly. So for the weather app, so Apple redesigned uh, the app uh, from the ground up and it add a lot of three dimensional, you know, uh, graphic uh, animations inside just to uh, illustrate the current conditions such as raining, snowing, thunderstorms, or cloudy or whatever. So you can see that uh, compared to the previous version. So this update just to make the weather more beautiful and more modern. And uh, you can see this is uh, uh, some other uh, screenshot for the weather app on the iOS 7. So the icons, so you can see the uh, weather list and uh, the background. So everything is just uh, brand new. And in 2014, so Apple released iOS 8. But for this update, this there's no big change for the weather app. Uh, but they just uh, change the weather source from Yahoo Weather to the weather channel. So you can see from the left corner and uh, the previous version, so you can see is from the Yahoo Weather. But uh, since uh, this update, so they just uh, change the source to the weather channel. And also compared to the previous version, you can see iOS 7, it just uh, give us a five days uh, forecast but for iOS 8, so this weather application can give us 10 day uh, weather forecast. Uh, and also you can see uh, the second figure, there exists a uh, today summer in the weather. And in iOS 9, so there's no big change, just uh, some, uh, just a tiny update on the uh, information organization and also some tiny changes on the user interface. And in iOS 10, so there's, you know, exists more fine adjustment 
such as you can add a 3D touch inside and you can see your weather list on it. But for the functionalities, there's no big change. And in iOS 11, um, there are also no you know, big update, just uh, some fine adjustment. You can see when you screw down and uh, you can see like uh, information including sun rays, sunset, chance of raining, wind, feels like temperature and so forth. So just uh, reorganize um, the weather information. And in iOS 12, uh, so there are also no big update. So Apple just add the weather on the lock screen so that you can, when you raise your phone, you can see the weather, current weather directly on the lock screen. And also they just uh, refine some animation in the weather. So from the functionalities, there's no big updates. So in iOS 13, um, so Apple just add some weather widget on the um, on the search area and also on the you know some widget screen, not on the home screen. So this is the only update for this big release. But as you can see from here, so there exists uh, the widget for the weather. And next on the iOS. Uh, 14, so Apple just uh, introduced the home screen widget. So for the weather applications, you can add a new uh, application widget on the home screen, not just on the widget screen. And also in iOS 14, so Apple enabled the weather app for the real time uh, prediction, you know, uh, data so that it can predict, okay, in the next uh, one hour or uh, like uh, 30 minutes, what could be the weather looks like? Is there any rains or any snow or any thunderstorm or whatever? So just to provide the real time uh, weather data. And in iOS uh, 15, so this one is a big update because the entire user interface just uh, redesigned because Apple uh, uh, just uh, bought a company called uh, 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 Dark Sky and uh, just integrate their application into the native uh, weather apps. And you can see that the user interface just uh, brand new and uh, it also integrates uh, things like uh, the weather maps and the next hour. Uh, prediction is more accurate and so forth. So this is update for weather on iOS 15. And for iOS 16, um, so uh, Apple just to make a deeper dark sky integration for the weather so that you can see uh, the weather user interface just uh, uh, make it more modern and also it predict uh, more information like the air qualities and vis visibilities and uh, you know the pressure and more so for each categories you can see there exists very rich information and uh, you can see the trend over the time so it's more uh, modern and also you can see on the bottom of the screen for each category so they just uh, give you the summary of it and also explain about you know, each uh, category. And also on the iOS 16, so Apple also moves the weather app, not only from the iPhone, but also, you know, to the iPad and the Mac platform. So that if you are a Apple user, so no matter what platform you are using, so the, app, the weather app can, you know, the user experience just uh, identical across different platform so that from the user side, um, it, you can have better user experience and know the weather on different platform. So that's the update for the weather applications on Apple platform since 2007. So thanks for watching. So if you like this video, just give me a thumb up and also share it on the social media platform. Thank you.